Hi everyone, today we are going to do a uh, Pilates flow consisting of seven basic exercises. This is a routine uh, that's going to focus on strengthening the front and the back of your body equally. Uh, so creating basic core strength, general strength in your body. Um, it is consisting of seven exercises uh, with different levels. Uh, you can do this anywhere, anytime. Uh, all you need is yourself and your mat. If you have done a warm up, great, let's go ahead. If not, please uh, make sure that you do one. You can find one of my warm up up above, so please uh, uh, check it out and uh, let's go ahead and start. So you start in the, uh, standing at the back end of your mat. Um, as we talked about, the Pilates uh, set up position with the feet underneath your hips. Take a lovely shoulder, we're creating that neutral spine, neutral um, uh, pelvis. So the first exercise we're going to do is your push ups. So with a nice big shoulder roll, let the, uh, engage your core again. Take a beautiful big breath in, on the out breath, tuck your chin, roll yourself down, just like you did in your warm up. Walk your hands forward, let your knees land, and as you find your hands underneath your shoulders, let the knee hands come nice and wide, let the chest come down towards the floor, breathe in, breathe out, push yourself out of the ground. Bring the hands back underneath, tuck your toes, walk your hands towards your knees, and slowly roll back to center, standing back and up into your setup. And we're gonna go again. So duck in the chin in, let yourself roll down, feel the stretch at the back of the legs. So if you're happy here, you can stay here. If you'd like a little bit more, allow the hands to walk a little further forward. And the hands just outside your mat, allow yourself to create a thin quarter position. Drop down into your push up, lift the back up, squeeze it between the shoulder blades, and find yourself back to the center, pushing yourself up onto your feet. So I'd like you to, to, to go ahead and keep going with about six more repetitions. If you are feeling strong today and you'd like to create a full push up, walk your head straight out. Bend the hands just outside the mat. Let the upper body lower down, push out of the ground. Let the hands come back in and then maybe keep your knees off the ground as you low, lift all the way back to center. So we are going to do a few more. Allow yourself to uh, feel the stretch at the back of the legs. Think about whatever position you're doing is to create the strength in the core. So put the belly button towards the spine. Allow the hips and shoulders to be square towards the ground. And let the core of the head turn towards the floor. We are going to do another two. You choose whatever option feels good. So if you are thinking, I think maybe it's too much on the toes, let the hands or the knees stay underneath your hips. Push in and out of the ground. Keep the strength in the core. Slowly roll as you need to rest in between the, the strength exercise. And one more time. So when you do your push up, your chest comes down to about elbow height. And you're going to um, create a bit of tension between the shoulder blades. And you may keep your legs straight. Make sure you don't need to lock your knees out. So roll all the way up. Let your shoulders pull back and down. And we're ready to move on to the next exercise. So tucking your chin in, you're going to roll down and find a full body knee position. So you find your hands just underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. This is going to be your swimming exercise. And we are going to um, create strength in the core. So make sure you engage 30%. Eye gaze just in front of your fingertips, long spine from the tail to the top. And whenever you're ready, find your right leg. Take a big breath in on the out breath. Let the right leg extend behind you. Toes can touch to the ground. Bring the right knee back on the inhale. Exhale, change side. Left leg extends. So if you feel comfortable, stay here. If you'd like a little bit more, next time as you extend your legs, let the leg be aligned with your hip. With the toes pointing down, the foot is flexed. So you can absolutely stay here. Make sure that as you lift your leg, your hips stay facing the floor. And the tailbone is nice and tucked under, engaging your pelvic floor. Next time, if you feel comfortable, as you extend your right leg, allow the left arm to reach up nice and straight, so you create a straight line. And then the other side, so the arm, the hand pointing towards the midline. Think about joining the energy into the center of the body. Everything is square towards the floor. Elbows is nice and soft. So create, just do another couple here. If you want to work a little harder, next time as you extend your arm, your leg, hold it for a breath. Keep pressing into the heel, reaching through the fingertips. 
release back and down. Breathing out as you reach, and breathing is as you find your way back to center. Think about keeping your powerhouse nice and strong, and then moving through the limbs controlled. Good, do that again one more time, reaching, maybe hold it for a little bit longer. Remember you can always pose and do a few more of the exercises if you'd like to. And this is your last one, find your way back to center. Allow the hips to push back, give yourself a nice little stretch, maybe relax your forehead down on the floor. Nice little charge pose. Nice, big breath in, breathing out, back to your full point in position. So we come to your next exercise, which is your swan dive, strengthening the back of your body. Lower yourself down on the floor. So you're gonna find your belly against the floor, the feet about hip width apart. The arm is going to relax either side of your mat, with the shoulders backing down. And whenever you're ready, you're going to put your forehead down. I'm not going to do that so you can hear what I'm saying. So you're gonna have your feet hip width apart and the hips square towards the floor, engage your core. Take a beautiful big breath in. On the out breath, tuck in the chin in, gently lift the head off the ground, and then look just in front of your mat, creating a bit of an arch in the back. Breathing in, breathing out to your legs back and down. And then we're gonna do that again. Lifting, pulling the shoulders away from the ears, the arms still relaxing on the floor, and then back and down. So just create, see how far you can lift. Allow yourself to really stay in touch with the ground, creating the strength in the core, and then back and down. If you feel comfortable, next time as you lift, lift your upper body off the ground and see if you can lift the arms go. Keep the feet down, allow yourself to relax back and down. So you can do a few more of these. So lift your, from your upper body, stay nice and strong for the core, put the shoulders back. Feel the hips pressing into the floor equally. If you'd like to go for a little bit more next time, you are going to lift up, extend your arms out in front of you, bring the arms back and the legs down. Good. Let's do another three of these. So you're going to inhale, exhale as you reach, inhale and exhale to release. Two more. So if you wish that you you now to stay uh, only with the arms down, that's perfectly fine. Make sure that your feet are relaxed and you're going to find the length in the spine. Good. So let's do just one more. Let the upper body pull back. Reach forward. I guess stays on the floor for a safe neck. And down. Lovely. Well done. Place your hands underneath your shoulders for an in-breath. And on your out-breath, push back. One more little stretch here. Stretch for the upper back, reaching the fingertips a little further this time. And we're going to find our sideline position. So your next exercise, uh, we're going to repeat this on both sides, that's a side kick. So we are going to use the back of the mat as a guide to create a straight line for the body. Your bottom arm is going to be underneath your head, nice and long and straight, or you can use any cushion in underneath. You find your hand, your shoulders, your hips, your feet all in line. If you've got any problems in your back today, your feet a bit further forward. So allow yourself to find that line, let the shoulders pull back and down allow the belly to pull in nice and strong so you're going to find the side of your body nearly lifting off your hand can be in front of you and allow the eye gaze to look straight forward if you find yourself wobbly your bottom leg can be bent so taking a nice big breath in breathe out let your top leg lift up just about hip high creating a bit of uh, engagement in your glutes relax the foot down inhale and exhale to lift again you might go a little higher, but this is your side kick up and down. The leg moves straight up with the hips facing forward. As you move, you might feel that you're wobbly, your shoulder may want to roll forward or back, make sure you keep it facing forward. That's it. So you bend your knee if you feel that you need a, a bit more support from the floor. And do make sure that you are letting your hips stay right on top of the other. I'm gonna do another two more. Breathing in, breathing out as you extend and lift. And just one more. If you face your hand in front of you, may you want, don't want to put too much body weight into it. Good, well done. So relax, back and down. Well done. So let's move on to your next exercise. Before we do the other side, uh, we 
start to work into your course. A bit of abdominals with your 100. Before we do that, we warm up your abdominals with your abdominal crunches. So in your setup position on your back, feet about hip hips apart, arms relaxed by the side of your body, shoulders back and down. Take a big breath in on the out breath. Engage your core, your 30%. You're gonna find that your uh, lower back come towards the floor. So you don't want to push it all the way down. Imagine you've got a grape underneath your back and you uh, push it just enough so the, the juice would come out of the grape. So when you're ready, breathing in, breathing out. Let your arms reach towards the ceiling. Find your fingers towards your temples. Allow like the shoulders to pull away again. Take a big, beautiful breath in on the out breath. Tuck your chin, let your eye gaze lift towards your knees, curl up, eye gaze or shoulders away. Breathing in, breathing out, relax, back and down. Let's do another four of these. Breathe in, breathe out, to crunch. Inhale, exhale and release. Beautiful. So you don't have to crunch high, just enough so you can push your ribs down towards the hip. Let the shoulders relax away. Two more to go. Start to awaken those abdominal muscles as you slide the ribcage towards the hips, relax your feet, knees stay hips width apart. Well done. As you relax down, arms come back to the side of the body, and we're going to bring the leg into play with some forwards. So on your next inhale, find your right leg, breathe in. Breathe out to bring the right knee about your hip, shin parallel with the floor, bring the right foot down, breathe in, breathe out to find your left leg up. And we're gonna repeat this just another three more times. So as you do this, the table to position is when your shin is parallel with the floor. So if you've got a mirror at home or you see yourself in the kitchen window or a living room window, you can check. And you just wanna make sure that your knee don't come too come to the, to the chest, your foot doesn't drop. That's it. Next time, let your right leg lift up, your left leg lift up. See how you're feeling here. You can here stay, keep the lower back down, have a little check, bring the foot down. And uh, whenever you work with your legs, you are working with the lower abdominals. It's always a good thing. So just repeat this two more times. And just see how you're feeling up there. If you feel comfortable, we are going to stay here for your next exercise, which is your 100. So the arms relax by the side of the body, breathing in, breathing out. Tuck your chin towards your chest. And we're going to curl up to find our position where we're going to do your 100 exercise in. So if this is too much for you today, you got a choice to put one foot down for an in-breath and then change for the out-breath. You can also put your head down anytime you need to. If you're feeling comfortable here, let's go ahead. So we are going to perform 10 beats of the arms for a breath. Five beats is an in-breath, five beats is an out-breath, and we're gonna do 10 full breath. All right, are we ready to go? So let's go ahead. You're going to go one, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. So you're going to stretch, crunch your own rhythm. I may work faster or slower than you are. So I'm just gonna talk you through what you need to look out for. If you do want to work a little harder, you are going to extend one or maybe two legs and maybe lift the upper body a little higher. If you want a little bit less, as I said, you can bring the head down, you can maybe relax a foot or maybe both foot down and then keep going with the arms. So it's totally up to you what feels right in your body. One important thing, the arms keep moving. It's a strong position coming from the shoulder. And I'll imagine you're pressing down on springs and they're coming back up. That's it. So by now you probably have finished your hundred. So let's take a little rest. You're going to let the knee come towards your chest, hug them in, let the feet come back and down and be taking a full body stretch, extending your arms and your legs away, stretching right through the um, front of the body. That's it, well done. Coming back to finish in our shoulder bridge here. So the feet gonna come back into that hip it's apart position. Knee aligned with your hips, shoulders down, belly engaged. So always set up, it's really important. So we're moving back into the back of the body, posterior chain strengthening. So whenever you're ready, find your pelvic um, um, area. You're going to take a big breath in and on the out breath, let your tailbone tuck under. So you're gonna find the lower part of the back pressing into the ground, taking a big breath in and breathing out to start to slowly roll the bottom of the ground, the bottom of the spine, the middle of the spine, all the way until you create a line between your shoulders and your knees. Straight the strength on the back of the body, inhale at the top and exhale to slowly release, reversing the movement, 
segment by segment lowering the spine into the floor until you find that your tailbone comes back and down and we go again breathing in tucking the tailbone under relaxing as you lift it up your palm is facing the ceiling your body weight pushing into the feet and into the shoulders lower back and down again try to keep those knees in line with the hips make sure you're moving slow so you keep strengthening good let's go two more if you do find that you'd like to work a little bit more here next time as you are at the top of your mat hold the shoulders keep the shoulders back in, into the mat and you may reach the arms above your head make sure you don't put any um, body weight into the neck area and then slowly lower back and down that's it so you move in again as slow as fast as you want to you may move faster than me every one of us is different we make sure that you are breathing remember lateral thoracic breathing so breathing in through the nose breathing out through the mouth into the rib cage keeping the belly button to into the spine and feeling every part of the back of the body so you want to keep the glutes the hamstrings engaged as well as the back of the body the lower part of the back and the mid back good one more time this time if you do you want to you can find free lift of the arms so let the arms rise keep the feet exactly where they are keep pressing down equally into the feet and then reach it up releasing back and down if you find that your hips are dropping just relax back and down anytime you want to one more time relax the arms relax the spine find your way back and down into the floor beautiful work well done we need it there so the knees come into your chest give yourself a nice little hug a bit of self that you deserve after your practice have a little roll side to side beautiful whenever you feel ready you can turn to your side and push yourself up or you can practice your roll back and then let yourself roll up and we're simply going to finish with your uh, side kick on the other side so like that on the left side of your body and i've got a present right there so i think i'm going to move a little further forward a little um bird like my mat so we're going to find the right and uh, a straight line with the arm underneath or a bit of cushion in under find the position stack your shoulders your hips one on top of the other bend your bottom leg if you need to create a big breath uh, big strength in your core inhale and whenever you're ready on the exhale let the top leg lift so do the first couple of uh, lifts nice and controlled so pilates is all about the control so you're gonna try and find that breath breathing out and releasing the back and down start to lift maybe a little bit higher so you are aiming for about six to eight kicks and it's all about that control so flexing through the foot you can also maybe add a little uh, footwork, so pointing the foot as you lift up, flexing the foot as you relax back and down. I am bobbing a little bit here because I'm, I am lying on a not quite flat surface. So it's a bit more challenging, but we always are for challenges, right? So two more. Lifting on the in-breath, relaxing on the out-breath, keeping the pelvis facing forward. Try to relax the upper body. Last one here, breathing in and breathing out beautiful work well done i think that's the the end so whenever you're ready allow yourself to lift up find your position on your mat you're just going to create a couple of stretches to finish this uh, little session so find a seated position that feels comfortable where the shoulders relax away lengthen through the spine take a lovely big breath in as you lift your right arm up and above stretch through the side of the body and relax the arm back and down and then the other side so just remember this is not a proper cool down so um i'd like you to do a few more stretches on your mat i am going to bring you a, a cool down that's a bit longer with lovely stretches uh, very soon so as you come back next time allow the hands to come together bring the hands towards me push through the hands and let the upper back open up breathing in breathing out reach the hands up lengthen through the front of the body Bring the arms back and down, let the chest open, keep the chin tucked in as you lift, lift up. And then find your way back to center. And I'd just like to say thank you for practicing with me today. So as you can see, it's very basic exercises um, that really, really uh, serves your, the strength with your core. So I'd like you to, to um, comment below, 
share what um, uh, how you practice today share uh, the ideas you may have for me to to give you uh, further um, subscribe if you uh, like what you say uh, maybe find me on Facebook uh, and I'd love to hear about you um, if you can also share the Pilates love with others thank you very much for uh, watching uh, keep practicing keep moving stay fit and healthy bye bye guys